All right, uh, so where we left off last time, we were able to have a nice background with lasers and we have a ship and everything. Um, what I did want to just go through, and I know it's almost impossible to see it here. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to see where the screen that blip was for the background. I'm just going to just comment it out and I'm going to go back to screen that fill. Only this time I'm not going to put it in black. I'm going to put it in white. Uh, you might be able to see this a little bit better. So look at the ship. Okay, and what do you notice is around the ship? There's just like a black rectangle part. It, it looks like it's just, it looks like the whole outline of it is just enclosed in black, right? So there is a way to get rid of that. Um, of course, if you have a dark background, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but just because I don't know, it's gonna bother me, I'm gonna get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and actually, we're gonna keep that so we can actually see that it works. And what I'll do is this. Now, every image, for the most part, is going to have some kind of, a, a, you know, small bits around the image that, 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 that are black or white or some kind of color. Now, there is a way to get rid of that. And what we could do is we can go back up to where our images were, which is like here. And I could do this, right? Player image underscore uh, set color key. Which we'll explain what that does, and I'd have to do that for every single image. Again, if we were doing it for every image, then we might as well incorporate it someplace else. So let me just go here and let me just show you what that means. So uh, dot set color key. All right. So set color key, it will set that color to be transparent. So if I wanted it to be if I set the color key to black, it's going to make the black pixels there transparent, making it seem like it's not there at all. And so that's what we're gonna do. Now, since there were, since there was, and I'm, I'm totally gonna get a, an error here. Okay, uh, there is around the laser, it's very hard to see it, but there is that, that same issue around the laser. There's gonna be the same issue around the meteor, um, which might be a different color altogether. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our image and here I'm going to create a new, uh, not a new, but I'm going to create another parameter and we'll call it color key or just, uh, yeah, we'll call it color, color key. Okay. And that would mean that here, when I call this, this function, I'm going to have to pass this. Now, what I could do here is I'm going to put equals none. Okay. So this is like a default uh, value here, which means that if I'm not passing anything to it, like for example, the background, I mean, the background looks great. I don't need to put anything around that. So I'm not gonna have to pass a color, a, a color to make transparent there. So I'm, I, if I don't pass anything, it'll automatically be none and that's perfectly fine, okay? It's just, the, it's just void. So what I do wanna do though, is I wanna pass here black. I wanna come down here, I'm gonna pass black here as well, okay? And I can, before returning to the image, after I've uploaded the image, I can get rid of that, that outer color by image.setColorKey. And normally I would put the color here, but since I'm passing the color anyway, right? Um, I'll put color key. Now, some of you guys are probably like, well, if you're using black here and you're using black here, then can't you just say color key equals black and then, or just change this whole thing here to just black? Of course. But suppose I, I upload an image and I, I'm pretty sure we will that has a white background. Now this whole thing becomes void because I've already established a specific color inside. And if, and if I change this to a white, then all the ones where we had black now won't work. So it's just easier to just pass the color that we want, right? It's just an extra five letters that we have to type in, no big deal. But now when I run this, okay, I only have to type it once. And oh, I've got my comma. I only have to type it once. And now when I go ahead and I run the program, uh, you'll see that see it's not there anymore. It's just it's nice. Even the lasers themselves are nice, right? Really, really nice. Um, of course, the laser is a little bit small, so maybe I might make that a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back now, take this off, put back my background. Okay, you probably won't even see the difference anywhere, um, but here it is again. Okay, nice and smooth, the way we like it. So what I wanted to focus on is here. I wanted to focus on uploading images for the meteor. Now the meteor 
it was a little bit tricky because I have here um, a bunch of them. We have, okay, so check this out. We have large meteors, okay? And then I also had some small meteors. So we could have like a mix up, okay? And um, regular explosions, that's for something different. So what we're gonna do is, or what we can do, I can come down here and I could do meteor image is equal to an empty list. Okay, so this is a list to store uh, the meteor images. Um, and what I could do, right, if you wanted to, you could go inside the list and you could, you know, copy and paste uh, each one if you wanted to do that. Like, it's no big deal. You know, you could do that. I'm not saying you can't definitely can but I'm not gonna do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually have it I'm gonna make a loop so see how they all have the exact same names but the number is increasing okay same thing here small meteors but the number is increasing from one through four and from one through four the reason why I'm gonna do it this way is because when we get to like the ship explosion that has eight different things you know uh, um, or if you have a game that has you know a hundred images because it has it's such a huge frame that needs to get through you don't want to sit down and and copy paste 100 things you want to have a loop that just does it for you so what we'll do here is we'll say for uh let's say i guess just i in range okay and remember it goes from zero so that's at zero so if i want four um from zero to four it goes zero one two three Okay, now my issue here immediately is that this starts at ones and ends at five. So I can't use this. I have to start at one, comma,